Welcome back everybody. In my last video I showed you how to get Call of Duty World at War to work properly. Now I'm going to show you a really cool custom zombie map. Uh, I don't really do a lot of custom zombie maps because they change the game too much in most of them. You're playing Spongebob Bikini Bottom, then you're playing some freaking Simpsons crap and it's just ridiculous. Give me a good map. Give me a map that looks like Treyarch the creators, the developers of the game made it themselves. Give me something that's World War II. You don't change the game, just give me something different. And that's what I found in this map. And if you find any maps that are basic and simple like these, hey, let me know. I like that. I really do. So, let's get this going. This is based off the map This is based off the campaign map, Downfall. As you can see here. And what I really like about this game, it is it doesn't really care about your feelings. It's not afraid to show the swastika. It's not afraid to be historically accurate of the things that happened back in those times. Today, you get these Hollywood versions of Call of Duty that, you know, try to make everything all colorful and happy. You know, Call of Duty, you know, was always about showing what real war was like and paying homage to the veterans that fought for the country and, and to give us a good game. I mean, that's what I think, you know, and that's why you don't see me play a lot of the newer Call of Duties. They're just recycled, manufactured garbage year after year. Now, should I give Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, a try? Sure. Uh, you know, if it's anything like the original trilogy, which it's probably not, I don't know. I'll give it a try. But mainly you're going to see me playing these types of Call of Duties. You'll never rob a Mini Mart again, Buster. Uh, World at War just doesn't care. It does not care about how you feel. It shows blood, guts, zombies, everything. Not this Call of Duty Infinite Space Halo Warfare. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Halo, but leave Halo to Halo. Let them take care of the sci-fi genre, not Call of Duty. I could make a whole video ranting and raving. But uh, this is a gameplay video. We're here to have fun. So I need to settle down. Settle down. I just wish they made them like this, you know. But they don't. And that's okay. This works just fine for me. This is a, a holy grail of video games. Nah, I don't want the instant kill. You wonder why. It takes away points. You get less points. Unless you absolutely need the instant kill, I don't recommend taking it. But that's just me. I'd rather sit here and struggle <laughs> with headshots. So we have to get this door open. I have played this once before, uh, so I know a little bit about where things are at, but not much. Uh, I come up here, 
and we have uh, yeah speed cola. This is where the speed cola is. I'm gonna crack this door. We come down here. Ah, there we go. That's what I need right there. This is my go-to weapon, the Thompson. A lot of people take a chance on the box, but I'm not that brave to gamble. I'll just stick with my Thompson. Gets me out of trouble. Oh yeah, if you uh if you shoot the teddy bears, uh, you, there's three teddy bears located in the map. You have to shoot three of them to access the Pack-a-Punch. So, it's not like Call of Duty World War II Zombies where you have to play Skyrim, basically, just to get the power on and do 60 quests. You know, that's what I don't like about uh, Call of Duty World War II. It's just, the zombies is just, oh my gosh. Remember, you can always uh, hoard points by using your pistol. It's always an option. I'm going to leave that one be. We're going to crack this. I appreciate the simplicity of this map, trust me. There's the power. I recommend keeping that door closed. You can open it if you want, but I would recommend keeping it closed. Uh, that way you can camp in here and, you know, if you wanted to. And all you'd have to worry about is the doorway and really this one window. And if you had a team of four, I could see it working for pretty long way so shall we let's see what crap we get out of this oh great that's the uh, that's definitely crap I was not wrong So we're going to go a few more rounds and uh, we're going to cut the video short. Uh, I don't like to really upload long gameplay videos. Uh, you have a life, you have things to do, as do I. So uh, I, I really like to keep these a little short and sweet. I'll make a part two and I can show you guys uh, the rest of this map. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, but this is just part one, I guess you could say. And there will be a part two. But uh, I just don't like, you know, keeping you guys, you know... I don't see a lot of people staying 30 to 40 minutes watching me play a video game. I'd rather go play a game, honestly, than watch people play, so... <laughs> I don't have a problem doing this for you guys. And if you guys want to follow along and download this map and add me on Steam, I'll put all that down below. So I'm going to show you guys where the juggernaut is at. So you have to turn on the power first to be able to access uh, down through here. There's the juggernaut there. Uh, that's basically it. Two windows. Here's a cool little uh, trench here. That's why I really recommend keeping this closed. Uh, I wouldn't suggest being anywhere in this freaking area. I'm in a really bad spot, and I really need to get out of here. This is a really bad area to be in the map, just so you know. I've learned that the hard way. Uh, quick revive, right there. Uh, I would like to find uh, the Bettys. I would like to see if the Betty glitch works to get three weapons, four weapons, five weapons, however many. Uh, we'll test that theory later on. 
but uh, overall, I can't complain about this map. Other than when you do play with people on this map, there is a model uh, glitch that may mess with your screen, but it's not unplayable. It's, it may get a little irritating, but it doesn't take the fun away too much, at least for me. But if you play single player, uh, you really don't have a problem. A few moments later. Been promoted to senior manager. Oh my god, what's next? Regional manager? Oh, <laughs>